Hi, good morning everybody. This is a new room uh, snapped fish in line. So this is one of the blue tomb. I like really blue to blue rooms these days. There's no tricks on them, no, like the red team's rooms, in any case, my opinion in that thing is like last week and weeks before. But this room is is good room, at least for me. I can see... Uh, so what we have now is uh, basically there's a fishing company, I guess a company, and then we have uh, <coughs> the email addresses that we got for this room. So we, we can analyze the stuff, uh, of course they give us even the hints, we'll use Firefox, using CTRated toolkit to get more information, analyze fish kit and all of that. Of course you can access to it through RDP or something, works directly from the attack box. Now, the first question is, who is the individual who received an email attachment containing PDF? So basically let's open this ones. We already have Thunderbird email in the system, so we can open them. Of course, there's a notice here that don't open these things <coughs> outside your VM. That's always the, the good part, so let's start. The first one, he said attachment PDF. This is not a PDF. This is an HTML, which is redirect to the page. The third one is also HTML. The fourth one is PDF, which code.pdf. The question is, who is the individual who received an email attachment? So the, email, the person is this one, William. You can see it's in two. William MC Clean. The second question is, what is the email address was used by the adversary to send the phishing email? Okay, here's uh, from. So we have this, it's the guy. Uh, that's the email address. You can copy, Ctrl C. This is the email address. <coughs> this is the person. Now, what is the redirection URL, the phishing page of the individual Zoe Donkel? Zoe Donkel. So is the way. Let's go back first one. This is Derek Marshall. Uh, Michael Chen. Michael Ascot. William. So it's the last one. Zoe Duncan. So let's click on it. Open with Firefox. We are via. So that's a redirect. Here is redirecting to this. The question is, is defang the error? So we can just uh, go to Cyberchef and just say defang URL. So that's the... Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, we need to... Before we do that, this is the final destination. Give me a second. Uh, Let me, uh, because uh, it redirects quickly, so let me save it here. Uh, let me go to the desktop. Open. So if you are not redirected automatically, please click here. So this is where it redirects. Because when it ends, most of the year when they end, they change. So you needed to get it before it changed. So that's the... So it doesn't redirect automatically in the first one. So we need to get the original one. Ah, sorry, this one. Okay, so this is the URL that is redirected in two. The next one is, what is the URL of the zip archive of the phishing kit? Define the format, okay? <coughs> he said, in the middle of the URL path. The URL path is this one. What it means? It means somehow you can have this directory data, update 365, this office, and then there is this one. So we can start from there. We can say, okay, what happened if I remove this? He said, not found. Then how about if I remove this random number, 
is still not fine so if I f remove that I get office 36 and now we can't get there interesting file is a log ok you can see all the password being, being collected so we, we need we might need that we needed that one so now about I go to the next folder is data so this is the zip folder so if I can copy the link I can just define the URL so that's the file so we just copy this and then we have the URL for the, the zip folder now the case question is what is the the SHA-256 of the phishing kit so we can just download it now it's in the download folder you can come here uh, download folder I can just type uh, because we need the SHA <coughs> sorry can SHA-256 uh, download folder and then the update one that's the SHA file copy it's a bit easy this room but it's good to for early Saturday don't sweat spend the whole weekends for for uh, and then what was the phishing kit archive first submitted format here then it and then uh, use open source uh, tools similar to this and that which can use to gather more information of course because we have the SHA the first thing you can come with you can say oh why, why don't come here and then uh, virus total we can go it will detect uh, and and it tell you first submitted we can back uh, we can also do this we can also take this URL and then see what uh, this domain can come with a bicycle why the hell uh, this won't work with domain only so let's public scan why this one it does what's wrong with you the domain could not be resolved okay this one it tell you uh, related file zero certificate who is but doesn't tell you first but for various total first submission it will tell you this so it's this one so we can use virus total for that and then the next question is when was the phishing domain that was used to host the phishing kit uh, archive first register format we already got it here in this site threadbook cti uh, it's under who is first registration is this one we only need the year and date we don't need the time so because they said there so the next one is what was the email address of the user who submitted the password twice remember we found now this log file here so let's find duplicate username uh, this is Michael Ascot Zoe Michael Ascot you can see Michael Ascot is twice here the same password so the person of it must be this one now we can go there then next question is what was the email address used by adversary to collect compromised credential hmm. he said examine the phishing kit okay now we have the phishing kit here let's get uh, extracted extract there close let's see so of course we have too many files here we can office 365 we have a lot of files we can go on you can start with the index as always uh, and again around all of that there's nothing there you can go to scripts and then you can see there's some couple of emails here these James or Gmail uh, otherwise we can go to uh, grab and search search for the whole thing uh, the comment for grab is this I can guys like to you to remember they got it so we can look for files or we just use grab to say get all our recursive directory extended um, what they call them, search all numbers at and all numbers 
and then we just say it says in the download the where are I in download directory download directory in the upload folder and let it search for us so now we can get all the files that we know that there is an email on them so if we look here the file that have emails we can see this James is an update which one which the one that we already got here uh, no not this one hold on a minute update so it's here it's sending something to to James I think this one is more efficient one login with office so it, this one it's it's not collecting it's sending so we know the gmail one is not correct it's because it's used his and you can see it said gmail so we can know this this gmail account is the answer for the next one these other emails in the obtained phishing kit one with the gmail so it's a gmail one <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys I'm a bit sick now we have also James Turner 299 this one is in pageset.co you can run on all of them but there is one interesting uh, you, you can see it <coughs> this one the index one because it's already say submit.php so it's validation submit so you can guess it's submitting something so validation and then it's a submit script So basically, how many email we have? We have the this index. We have uh, James Turner two two nine nine, and then we have uh, yeah, this is James Turner. So if you look to this script, the submit one, that's the one that email to index dot uh, the index dot com file. Uh, Outlook update the IP office. Uh, where is the subject? Uh, had the email created by real Carda. Uh, it's generating the email and the password. So this one is the one that collecting. Uh, and you can see the format. This one, it looks similar to this one. You can see. It's it's happening here. So the email is this. Oh, sorry. Shush. No, no. What the hell? I did copy. Uh, the email we got is from this file. Is send it to Yandex. This one. The next one is how to get the hidden flag. The hidden flag is said the flag contains the text file extension with some adjustments should be downloaded from the phishing URL. So let's go back to our phishing URL. Remember our phishing URL, the original one, where is the long one? Let's get the original. This is the original one. So we can we can guess as you, you can play around and said usually the name is always flag dot txt okay so so basically you can get it straight here so data update office flag dot txt so it's about a guessing game but you can get it from the url because it's already tell us that is from url now Yeah, it could be downloaded from the fish fishing URL. Now we can get this. We can see you can see it's base sixty four. Uh, what's wrong with my connection now? Now we can go here and just say it was automatic, but you know it's a reverse. So we can just do this. I can put this and just use the reverse. Uh, reverse, reverse it here. So become lazy. So we don't need to do it manually and you can just come here what the hell uh, copy and we got the flag 
so this is an easy room and it's really good I have many things to do this Saturday hope you enjoy it guys uh, like and share and please subscribe to helping me thank you very much and have a good day